Hello everybody, this is Jen Jeft here, and we are back with some more Rule the Waves. As you probably noticed, the prior week, you all got some extra episodes, mostly because a lot of stuff got uploaded out of order, which was a bit problematic. So in order to fix the order of the episodes, you got like two episodes as I uploaded them and inserted them into the series. And there is currently a problem with my wife, uh, with my internet. Not my wife. No, I'm not married. Uh, currently a problem with my internet. My computer says there's internet. It says I'm connected. Um, internet access. But I can't connect to anything. Hmm. Mm hmm. Rule of righty. Okay. Um, momentary pause. Alrighty. So I got my internet working mostly, more or less. But um, yes. Uh, the thing I wanted to bring up, we move that out of the way on the other screen, move this over here. Um, easiest reply. <laughs> so I was reading this guy's comment, Dave here, and he's not sure, yeah, the carriers do not launch strikes by themselves. They will only launch cap. Close air protection. The annoying thing is, only one carrier will launch cap. The rest will not. So, it's like all the carriers have fighters, but only one carrier in a group of carriers will launch close air, co air cover, which is kind of annoying. Uh, yep, he's got everything else right there, but um, he doesn't know how to get to where the wind is coming from. I will show you how to do that in this episode. And... Yeah, well, the carriers don't operate by themselves other than the one carrier in a group launching close air cover. The seaplane carriers should have been doing stuff on their own, mostly launching scout planes. Uh, the seaplane carriers do not do stuff on their own. They do not launch their own scout planes, which is kind of annoying. But there we go. So we'll move this back out of the way. And there is nothing else with this turn. We have halted the construction of these three new South Carolina battleships to let the Minnesotas get finished because uh, we were kind of low on money at the moment. We'll probably turn them all back on soon. And we're building the next size of dock. So, turn. Boom. Oh. That's a pleasant surprise. Okay, I'll build battleships. <sighs> the annoying thing is the ones that are already un under construction won't count. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll just throw in two more South Carolinas. They're halfway decent design, so whatever. Uh, convoy defense, southeastern seaboard. And this is where I will show you the wind direction indicator, which is in the top right. Right here. This is your wind direc direction indicator. So when you want to know which way your carriers are sailing in order to take off the aircraft, this arrow, arrow here will tell you. So we got uh, light cruiser scouts over here, the scout division, a armored cruiser here, which is a garbage armored cruiser. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And there's our wind direction indicator. Also, other ways to tell. Why are you sailing off in that direction? I have no control over the guy. Okay, another way you can tell. Uh, look at the way the smoke is trailing in the game. And merchant vessels are particularly useful for this because you can see which way the smoke is trailing and that will tell you also the wind direction. I have no control over this stupid thing. I can click the cruise button and maybe if I do that, nope, nope, nope. I have no control over it. Yay. The armored cruiser is just doing whatever the frick it wants to do. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's just going northeast. Off to the northeast for whatever reason. Oh, I've got control over him now. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I want that up so I can see the time of the episode so I know when I'm at my... I'm gonna say I'm going to go for 15 minutes this series. Oh, cool. That was quick. Good. Good. Fast battles are always a good thing. 
I am going to scrap my entire armored cruiser field and get new armored cruisers. Ships under construction. Resume all of you. Build. Where is the baby? You. We're building two of you now. Two more. Because we have to have battleships building. So now we're at negative 14,000 for a month. 14 million for a monthly balance. Huzzah. Okay, ships in service. How many of you have reached your destination? You guys have. So start doing raiding. Yes. Raid. 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 I need to re build all the light cruisers. I need to build all the new heavy cruisers. Oh my god. The ships are sucky. Okay. Ships under construction. Submarines. Coastal fortifications. Yep. Turn. Grad gradual. Rate of fire improvement. I'd never used cross deck fire. 700 ton displacement destroyers. Huh. Do, 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 do. We are sinking a lot of enemy merchants. Good, good, good. Uh, cruiser action, except they decline. Convoy defense. We have loads of convoy defense down here, except. Oh, goody. Destroyers. And there we have a much stronger wind going to the slight, well, going west and slightly south. Okay. Here we go. We got two light cruisers. I don't like this. Can we get ahead of the light cruisers? Yes, we can. But all we can do is chase them away. It's too late to go for the cover of darkness because, well, the sun just rose. That was a terrible torpedo attack there, but nice attempt. It was indeed a nice attempt. God, they're only four inch guns. The secondary is three inch. Wow. Twelve four inch cannons. Oh well, we'll just keep going back and forth as the convoy speeds to the northwest. We are constantly hitting each other. Oh, torpedo just missed. Thing is, these things will be significantly larger than the destroyers, so they'll take a lot more damage. And they have a thing called armor. Uh, if I go to the gun data here with a two-inch gun, we're never going to penetrate that. So we're basically, sailing around a 57 millimeter cannon, which won't do jack <laughs> against these light cruisers. The only hope we have is to hit, actually manage to hit one with a torpedo. That is not something we... Ooh, we managed to do it. We hit one. Yes, that's, what, that's precisely what we needed to have happen. Maybe we can get another torpedo hit. Yes, we've hit an again. Ooh, yeah. You're fucked. Good. So we leave that guy to sink. No flusher sinking. You know, a destroyer in exchange for a light cruiser? That's acceptable. I find that to be very accept acceptable. Terry has got nailed. Flusher has sunk. My hope is that the convoy has gotten far enough north that uh, they lost it, which I highly doubt will be the case. Come on, you guys. Two freaking two-inch guns. That was a terrible idea, having two-inch guns on those things. And look, now that guy's going to be able to get into there because the damage ship is up front. I can't do anything. 
can't do anything about it. Send everybody else go. The merchants are scattering. And we've sunk one enemy light cruiser, which is a good, good thing. Cargo ships are leaving. Which is good. Very good. Alrighty, and the enemy ship is also leaving. So how bad is the damage on this one? Ooh, no structure left, but nine light hits. So they're shockingly durable. Oh, no, Rose dead. <laughs> where is Rose sitting at? Ro, where are you at? You're there. You're gonna sink. Goodbye. Goodbye. There he goes. There goes Ro. Ro has sunk. Yes to all. Pick up survivors from all the things. Go save Ro. Two destroyers for loss of a light cruiser. Major victory for us in the convoy was um, more or less fine. So, gain prestige for that. Okay, Windward Passage. Alrighty, uh, our merchant cruisers are in Southeast Asia, so you can start raiding. You can start raiding as well. Very good, very good. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you not raiding? Just raid, okay? Just raid. You're there, raid. <laughs> You're expensive to your job. Uh, condenser troubles. Ha, ha, ha. No. 700 ton destroyers. Very good. We've sunk 24 enemy merchants. <laughs> there we go. That should be giving the British a hard time. Oh, yeah, we'll accept that. Oh, they actually went with it. Uh, two light cruisers, let me guess. Four inch guns. Four inch guns? No, we have six inch guns. Good. Our ships aren't quite as garbage. Okay. They're only mostly garbage. Because if I'm correct, their maximum speed is. Let me check for the love of God. Uh, 23 knots, which is. Eh. Okay. I can work with that. Go towards Portland. What kind of stuff do we have out here? There's a couple more light cruisers. Ooh, we got a couple task forces floating around out here. The enemy may never actually engage. Oh no, no, we found them. Really? An armored cruiser? Really? How is it unknown? How do you not know what you're engaging? The weather is not bad and it's not night. We can see up to 22,000 yards. And we're hitting them. I've got no clue where the engagement is. So it isn't there. Odds are they're running home. Fast, please. I'm probably never going to catch up to that. Oh, I'm most likely never going to catch up to that. Move it, move it. There, go on as fast as we can. Huzzah, huzzah. Oh, we're never going to reach that. This is what are you? You're a merchant that don't give a shit, so maybe they didn't go this way. I have no clue where the battle is. Oh, this is concerning. My light cruisers could maybe possibly be getting sunk. I don't 
know where the Columbia class light cruisers are trained. I don't know where this fight is. They're hidden. So here's an entire battle. Autopilot. I don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, my guys are overheating and having issues because they've been running too, for too fast for too long, trying to find where the war is. Uh, thing is, I'm not getting any reports of anyone sinking. And so my guys are reporting hitting the enemy, and not the other way around. So this is awkward, to say the least. This is weird. I am not sure what to make of this. Oh, is this them? Is this you guys? Oh my god, I have found them. And it also looks like it's dead. I have just arrived to an already dead enemy ship. Was it just you? Yeah, it was just you, wasn't it? Huzzah! We have arrived! The cavalry is here and the enemy has already been sunk. Mostly through the efforts of boats other than us. Yep. Cruise home. Okay. Successful battle, everybody. Success. We sunk them. Not the other ones. Not the other light cruiser group. We did it. All us. Entirely. We didn't just sail back and forth over heating bearings and achieving nothing. No. Not at all. Not at all. Well... I well, we'll finish this, and that looks like the end of the turn. And with the end of the turn comes the end of the episode. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will be back for the next episode. Where we totally, totally don't leave some other squadron that isn't under our control to sink the enemy. <laughs> yes. See ya. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.